video number two hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, if you saw video number one thank you so much again but this video is gonna be simple quick right uh, my main focus on this video is going to be uh, discovering the location where I record my videos right so everyone's been asking me not just here on YouTube but also on Instagram where I record my videos right For where do I go to watch the launch where is a good place to set up camp right so the awesome part is that I recorded it today for flight number eight I believe yeah so many flights right so flight number eight we went uh, down to Port Isabel Texas right uh, we set up shop put our little gear together got the drone up in the air uh, got some great shots well kind of it was really cloudy uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you know edit the video so you can see me doing the the drive around right so again this is a really good spot i love it uh the owner is so awesome <laughs> good champ right uh he he was like uh, are you recording me and i'm like i just i just want to record and document this spot because the more uh people go there the more he gets uh income right yeah so the more people the more traffic the more people get better shots, right? Somebody's gonna get a way better rocket launch shot than I did, right? All I did was use my iPhone 15 Pro, right? So nothing crazy. Um, everyone thinks I use professional gear. Nope, this is my first professional camera and I'm using it to record myself. And I have a small uh, lens so I can't super zoom in, right? So uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max though, got some good shots I mean you guys seen my little shorts right so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the video right now so now we're here at Port Isabel as you can tell uh, this is a port town it's actually pretty small so you got to be really careful with a lot of the uh, PD here because uh, they will stop you in a moment's notice all right so uh, the spot that I'm trying to recommend here is uh pretty good i usually recommend it for people that don't want to drive into south padre island right if you don't want to drive into south padre island and wait i don't know four to five hours to leave this is the one i recommend and if you really need to and you want to get a good shot of the rocket i highly recommend you come here early mostly because this spot is pretty wide but the really good shots are in certain places right now i'm gonna show right now i'm gonna I'll show you what i mean right so you're gonna drive all the way straight you're gonna go ahead and get and get right here where the lighthouse is at right you're gonna go right before the bridge you're gonna see first national bank right you're gonna slowly come this way right See, right before the bridge, I'm not gonna go to the bridge because again, I do not want to watch the launch from a really crowded place. I want to go somewhere that's gonna be nice and quiet, right? I'm trying to record with my gimbal or my drone, if it's allowed by the drone. At the moment, I don't know. Uh, the, the app specifically says it's allowable um, I'll go ahead and put a picture on how that looks. You should be able to fly the drone over here. So if you're a drone owner, uh, I know for a fact that you can't drive your drone at the island because that whole area is a uh, national security, no fly zone, basically. Again, you, don't, you can't quote me on that. Uh, you can look that up on the app, um, which is called Autopilot. Uh, link to that on below. Uh, if you're a drone enthusiast, make sure you have your part 107 uh, because there is several FAA people that come to these launches to uh, verify that everything is good, right? So again, you're gonna take that right, you're gonna go all these way straight. It looks weird, trust me, but this is the best spot. Nowhere near this area are you gonna find something that's good, right? So you're gonna hit this stop sign over here and then you're gonna take a left. Right, remember it's gonna be all the way to the end. 
and then you take a left. And sometimes you're gonna have traffic. Uh, again, this is why I tell y'all to come here early. Um, this spot is getting more and more packed per launch, right? So maybe next time uh, you see this video, um, it's gonna be an uh, actual designated spot for the launch, right? Uh, as you can tell over there, there is a um, bridge, a drawbridge that opens and closes for the personal boats that come in, out, in and out. So uh, this is the reason why there's a line right now. It's not because of that spot. Uh, it is because of that drawbridge, right? Uh, one thing about this spot is that uh, it used to be the old bridge, the old uh, Port Isabel uh, causeway, right? Uh, but they're gonna go ahead and take it down. I believe uh, I'll put a news article down below and show y'all that they're turning it into a coral reef, artificial coral reef that is, right? So again, we're just waiting on the drawbridge to come back and close. And then we, we go ahead and, and go check that out. All right, so it's gonna be this way. You're gonna see this drawbridge right here. Again, it's gonna look sketchy. Trust me, I was saying the same exact thing. But it's this way, right? So we're gonna pass this drawbridge. How's it going? Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, five miles per hour. Gotta be slow. Five miles per hour. You come this way. And yes, you, there's, there is Airbnbs you can rent on this way. Uh, I believe they're like about a hundred bucks a night. So if you want to stay in the valley and watch the launch, totally recommend these Airbnbs. And they're specifically located right by the beach. So you're, you're, you're going to be able to stay there, enjoy the launch, and then go and talk to some SpaceX uh, technicians or engineers here at the island um, later on, right? So uh, we're coming this way. How's it going, sir? Right, you wanna give them a little tip of the hat. Again, it looks sketchy, <laughs> trust me. It, it is this way, right? We're, we're coming around this area. Again, if you're gonna rent an Airbnb, just go ahead and check in at the lobby there, right? But for the other people that just wanna go and look at the launch, uh, it's gonna be over here. Again, I know it looks sketchy, trust me. You're just gonna come here to this fine gentleman, right? Gonna come here and be like, how's it going? Uh, the usual. Oh, sorry. Oh. Are you recording? Oh yeah, he's, I was, just, I was trying vlogging. to show. Pizza. Yeah. I was trying to show everybody on YouTube <laughs> that this is the best spot to look at the the thing. Uh, Sixty-eight. There you go. Thanks, guys. Go have fun. Yo, YouTube. All past the second game. Awesome. Thank you. Yep, so you, you pay, and then they're over here, you got the causeway. See, it, again, it, it looks sketchy, but this is his private land, and uh, hopefully in the future it's gonna be the official uh, SpaceX launch uh, area right so um he charges sixty dollars per vehicle or twenty dollars per person right so uh i just want to verify uh, make sure you guys uh, know that so this is what he means about second gate this is rented out to somebody else and then past his gate is his property right beautiful and then this area over here is where we can park. This area specifically for SpaceX, right here. 
So this is uh, SpaceX rented, and then over here is free game for us. All right, so let's go ahead and look for an area where we can park and set up camp. All right, let's see. So I see the launch mount right there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and look for a spot. This is why we got here early. So this is where I usually park, right where that truck is at. That's where I usually park. But as you can tell, you know, I got here late, right? So that, that would have been a perfect spot, right? So they already got the second best spot. So let's go ahead and get the third best spot. Should be right here. Reverse park in. All right, I'm going to add, uh, voice over this area only because uh, it's too windy. You can't even hear what I'm saying, but uh, my main focus on here is to show you all how the area looks, right? It's a little bit muddy, so if you're bringing a car, make sure that you park in an area that's not gonna get uh, blocked in or you're gonna get mud there, right? So uh, always try to park kind of far away from people as well because the moment that people try to exit, they pile up real quick, right? So get near the entrance, get a nice little area and get ready. You know, I mean, like I said, it goes by quick. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit cloudy today right but on a amazing day which you guys have seen on my instagram or my youtube videos it is a perfect view right so let me know what you think about it But yes, as you can tell, the launch got scrubbed and we were out of there as fast as possible. Uh, if you haven't came to see a launch, please, 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 please get to a spot where you can like get ready to exit the premises as fast as possible because the line builds up and if you have somewhere to be, it's gonna be about three or four hours before you get out of line, right? This, the, the reason why I promote this spot specifically is because the South Padre Island spot is just so packed and there's already too much traffic going on over there. This can mitigate the amount of traffic that goes to South Padre Island. If you're down here to watch the launch in and out and you don't wanna deal with the hassle, this is it, right? Yes, it is about $60 or $20 per head, but if there's like multiple people in the car, uh, they're gonna charge you 60 straight through, right? Or maybe, uh, you can get a deal if you can talk to him, right? But um, yeah, I mean, I honestly think it's, it is worth it because you're in, you watch the launch. Maybe if you get in there early enough, you can set up shop and then you can go home, right? So again, if you like it, let me know. If you go there, say what's up to me next time. Uh, this launch got scrubbed, but who knows? You might be there uh, tomorrow, right? Or the next time they launch. But yeah, let me know. Uh, again, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing or watching my videos.